So in this video, I want to talk about Cafe Terrace and its goddess or Cafe Made Terrace, depending on how you read it, depends on the language. But honestly, this is a manga series that I read before the anime ever came out and I fell in love with the manga. I really, really, really love the series. But here's the thing. When I look at reviews about this series, my golly gosh, do I see some really harsh reviews about the anime. And a lot of it comes down to the fact that people quit watching it very early on. They get through the first couple of episodes, they watch it, they don't like the girls, and quickly drop the series. Forgetting that the series is one of those where I like to call it a slow cooker. It is one of those where, honestly, it gets better as the story goes on. And season one is honestly too short for it to really give you enough time to really get into the girls itself. By the end of it, you start to enjoy these girls, but you need to really get much more deeper in, and that's why it's really great that this anime is getting a season two, and currently, as of recording this, it has its first episode out for season two, but I wanted to talk about season one, because I feel like the beginning of the story is extremely important to get people invested in a story. And I feel like when I see a lot of the reviews, people are misunderstanding what the series is trying to get across. And some of that is to do with the fact that people do not like the way the girls are so harsh towards the main protagonist. And I also do feel like some people treat the girls unfairly. And you kind of get this whole like, girls evil because they aren't nice to him blah 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 and then there's also the anime kind of cliches as well i saw some reviews that were basically saying that the girls killed the grandmother no idea how that head cannon came up but no the girls did not kill the grandmother if anything the grandmother was able to pass away happy because she had family with her though they weren't her blood family those girls were family to her and they saw her as family and that is something even the main male protagonist thanks the girls for for being there to support her throughout her that process while he wasn't there and honestly i think it is kind of a little bit mean of him that he never really kept in contact with her he just walked away never came back and only comes back after then he finds out that she passed away and is inheriting the cafe one of the other comments i saw people complain was that it was cliche that main protagonist inherits cafe and i'm like what other animes are there like is it, it name 10 and i can't because it's not that common it's not that cliche -y. it just feels like a lot of people that criticize these kinds of animes try and come up with head cannons and over exaggerate things to criticize the series is the girl well are the girls a little bit rude and mean to him yeah they're, the way they see it is that their home is being flipped upside down because the grandmother's passed away and now they're in, a, in an uncertain environment where they may be left to have to deal with a harsher environment. Like fend for themselves, you could try and use the argument, but these girls were working at the cafe. Sure, they weren't great at dealing with their own personal things and the mother kind of, well, the, the grandmother doted on them a little bit and did everything, but she enjoyed that. And so it gave that opportunity for the girls to focus on studies, focus on their own personal hobbies and careers, like, you know, part of a band and all that, and try and increase, like, build on their career. And then also working for the cafe itself. But the girls, yeah, definitely have their faults, but so does he. And some of the reviews that I've seen seem to only want to focus on the negatives of the girls and not the negatives of the male main protagonist. Again, this is a situation where two groups are butting heads and it's taking some time for them to adjust to the situation. And so, yeah, there's a bit of hostility, a little bit of frustration between both parties. And as time goes on, they're kind of warming up to each other. And this is where, as the series goes on, the girls then all fall for him and it turns into a harem. But it takes time to build to that. And that's the thing, I feel like a lot of people drop the anime very, very, very quickly because it's not just one of those where it just dumps a main protagonist in there and just has like five generic girls with five different personality traits that are super generic and all just in gushing over him. And I think that's what some of these people want. They just want a copy-paste harem rather than a bunch of girls that have their own personal goals, character defects, etc. Sure, there are some tropey aspects to them, but... 
there's at least some more complexity to the characters and some backstory as well. It's just I feel like a lot of people are only looking at the negatives for the girls and not looking at the negative of the main male protagonist and how he's coming into this thinking he's some hot stud that can just solve all these problems with his great genius plans and things just aren't always going the way he hopes and the girls are there to help. They're using what skills they have available to help him further his overall objective of building that cafe up as a personal thing because it's what his grandmother did. So I think the series is great in that sense and that will continue on and you will continue to like the girls as time goes on and then of course there might be more other girls but that's the thing the story builds and grows and the thing that I saw was people complained about the whole wrong place wrong time punching blah 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 that's a normal thing that happens in animes it's that 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 one trope aspect it's like oh he walks in a room with five girls changing why don't they change in a room that's not like one they're used to living in the house where there is no male person walking around so they kind of get used to being like oh well I can change here because the only other people that are going to see me are other girls that I live with so they didn't have to stress and now they've got a, another well they've got a male in there they're readjusting to that but that's honestly a gag that will be used permanently where he walks in on them and that's just how anime always works at the end of the day if you can't handle that you shouldn't be watching harem animes to begin with because harem animes generally do that quite a lot Again, if you don't like it, don't watch the medium. It's that simple. Go watch some other stuff like Teletubbies or some American cartoon that's just a generic copy-paste of throwing weird characters that I could throw some lines at, but I'm not going to. The other thing, though, too, is, of course, other tropes like, yeah, the girls kind of beating him up and all that kind of stuff. Again, he's not literally getting beaten up. He's not getting taken to a hospital. The only one that really probably does the most damage is honestly the Hadouken girl. She's just completely wonkos and she just ends up breaking things, but he kind of gets his own revenge on it. It's That's meant to be kind of there to break the ice up. While all the other characters are growing, building, developing, you've got those silly moments to kind of break the ice and kind of break the momentum. It's not that frequent, and I do feel like people say that it's so frequently that it happens. It's not, and that's another thing, is that it's over-exaggerated, these criticisms. But I do think people need to give this series a bit more time to kind of cook, because this is a series that gets better and better and better. And I understand at the end of the day, you shouldn't have to get through two seasons or three seasons of an anime for it to become good. But I don't think that's the case. I think, honestly, it becomes really good as the episodes go on, as the girls grow, build, develop, and they all become accustomed to the main male protagonist. I really love the series, but I don't think it's for everyone. And I think that's one of the problems is that people go into these kinds of series and they kind of expect something that they know it's not going to be, but still go into it anyway and then get upset when it doesn't turn out that way. Again, maybe I'm just a sucker for these kinds of animes and I, I do love the cutesy romance aspect to it. And again, all these girls like him. They all grow to enjoy his company, and he does grow and become better as a person. But the thing is, as I not said, it seems to be the only criticism seem to be towards the girls. Again, the main male protagonist isn't picture perfect either. He can be very arrogant. He came back only after his grandmother died, and he even shows a lot of regret and frustration and anger at himself because he wasn't there. He left. Yeah, there was a bit of a disagreement between them, and he wanted to prove something, but he never got that ability to prove it to her because she passed away too soon. And the real villain of the series is going to appear much more frequent. And you're going to realize really who the big villain is if you haven't already. Because there is one. If you haven't noticed it already, you will notice it. And that's where the story becomes much more interesting. The world starts to expand a lot more because there's a lot more characters and there's a lot more intertwining history and backstory to go on that I think people will really love and enjoy. And that's where the real hook of the story is, is when you find out the past, not just for him, but also for them. Because it's, I, I won't spoil it, but I will just say, 
destiny sort of repeats itself in this kind of story. So I really love the series, and I would recommend people would give it a proper try, watch it properly through. The only downside is there's no, like, English dub currently. Maybe there might be one later on, but I really wish they would do a proper dub for it for those that want that kind of... And I feel like if they did a dub for it, like an English dub, it would probably bring in more people that would be interested in the series. So that's just my personal opinion. Maybe they will with season two... We'll just have to wait and see. But I am kind of concerned that with season two, they may never do a season three just because it may be mainly used as a manga seller. And yeah, the manga's still ongoing, so you can watch that as well. So again, I'd love to know your thoughts in the comment section down below. What did you think of Cafe Made Terrace? I will definitely talk about season two when it does finish airing. So definitely look forward to that second video talking about season two. And I may talk about the manga in more detail and talk about all the girls if there is enough interest. If you want that, you've got to support the video, and if you really want to support the channel, consider the Patreon. It does come with Discord access. So again, if you like this video, hit the like, subscribe, and I'll see you beautiful nerds in the next video.